Good Sunday morning. What's going on there, folks? It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream, September 5th, 2021. It is a Sunday. Hope everyone's enjoying their weekend out there. Latest quake on the globe is a 5.9 earthquake. Just striking around the Tonga region, pretty close uh, to all this activity we've been watching over the last 24 hours. We've seen quite a bit of movement in through the Indonesia area as well as right around the Fiji Islands area. There's that 5.9 striking in the Tonga Trench. Very shallow earthquake right along the trench region. This area has seen, no doubt, some uh, pretty large earthquakes this year. And I believe this is uh, could be possibly a uh, aftershock from that uh, rather large earthquake activity that took place uh, a couple months ago or so within this region. But uh, definitely a hot spot of activity uh, in any time period, I would say, when it comes to uh, um, these type of quakes, 5.9. Not going to be any type of tsunami statement, but we'll check it there with the USGS. I don't see anything at all. Uh, there is the historical seismic activity. No doubt a uh, major hot spot. Um, white earthquakes, or at least the white circles, indicating the shallow depth earthquakes. Uh, gray indicating a little bit deeper and then of course the really deep movement that we see in the Fiji Islands area all too often um, in the darker circles there so kicking off a little bit today folks there's all that movement that took place here most of it yesterday um, some of it uh, looks like over the last couple hours or so seen some further movement over there just south of the Philippines area uh, and near uh, Vanuatu, there was a 4.8 that struck, uh, looks like, a few hours ago. But the majority of this here from yesterday. Uh, but things are ramping up today around the Tonga region, no doubt. West Coast region, let's go ahead and check this out as well. We're still seeing, let's go ahead and bring the all magnitudes here. We're still seeing a pretty heightened swarm of earthquake activity up around the Gulf of Alaska. Um, we talked about this a little bit last night. looks like it's right on the... I know someone um, gave me that correct pronunciation. But it's on this Pacific Fault structure right here. Very close to the plate boundary of the North American and Pacific Plate. Uh, looks as though most of this activity uh, within the two range or so. There was a couple threes kicking up including a 4.1 but this here this activity definitely worth watching as we're seeing a little migration over here to the west away from this mo uh, this uh, main swarming activity and the for the most part yeah these if you, look, if you look at these depths here with these earthquakes that are taking place in the swarming uh, they're all over the place all over the place indicating that uh, some um, potential there is uh, on the rise for a possibly a stronger earthquake in this region not for sure exactly the historical seismic activity around this area we'll check this out here see what we got um, let's see directly around the star at least the uh, epicenter area I don't see anything right smack dab there but um, all around the region of Alaska is very active when it comes to larger earthquakes throughout history. Uh, so we'll definitely keep an eye on this. I'm not for sure what we got as far as satellite imagery goes in this region. A uh, whole bunch of snow it looks like over the winter time. Back when it, uh, I don't know when this image was uh, created, but uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on it folks. Just kind of interesting activity. Uh, kicking up. I'll see if I can pull up a uh, seismograph station within that vicinity to keep an eye on the um, that movement up there. The rest of the plate boundary here along the uh, Aleutian Trench looks fairly quiet. A couple small quakes around the um, 8.0 earthquake that struck here a month or so ago. That should continue for a while, right? The uh, northwest part of the Pacific Ring of Fire relatively quiet. Uh, again, South America. This activity was from, uh, well, it looks like most of it from yesterday. It looks like maybe there was one within the last few hours, 4.3, a little bit more 
shallower up towards the trench, uh, the Peru Chile Trench, north of Santiago, Chile, west coast. Uh, looking a little active today. We'll cover that a little bit more, folks, in detail later on this evening. Uh, unless something else pops up, I just wanted to cover that 5.9 in Tonga that just hit. Looks like Hawaii starting to rumble a little bit as well following that 5.9 movement in the Tonga area. Of course, I've always been a firm believer, right? Whenever we see movement here along the uh, any portion of the plate, it affects other areas not only nearby, uh, but at a consi considerable distance here. I think that's kind of why we're seeing further movement up here in, uh, in Hawaii, just like right off the bat. So we'll keep you guys updated, folks. Uh, I'm going to jump off here, come on through the Earthquake Live 3D stream for a little bit and uh, enjoy the rest of the Sunday um, here in smoky California. Have a good day, folks. We'll chat you a little bit later. Peace out.